welcome to Chris Park in Shooting Sports. Today, earlier than expected, the 15th of November 2021, it's here, the CZ600 series Centrefire Rifles. This is what I was shooting in Czech about a month ago. Um, they've brought the launch forward from the 15th of January to the 15th of November, so here we go. Please watch the video. I apologise in advance, there were a lot of shooters on the range, a lot of noise was getting made, so some of the sound isn't as, as good as I would have expected or hoped for. Again, the video quality wasn't great because it was all very much done on the fly in situ. But, what can I say? Well, they did a very, very good job on this rifle. It impressed me immediately. There are five versions of it. You'll see them all on the video. Uh, Caesar did a great launch in terms of they gave us a huge technical pack to back up what was actually happening and all that information is with me already. So some of it will be in the description box. So please like, please subscribe, please comment and we'll try and get as much information across as possible. But hopefully over the next few months, Sportsman Gun Centre in the UK, who are the importers for CZ, will be sending me some of these centrefire rifles so I can do full in-depth reviews. But what I will say is this, what CZ promise in their marketing in terms of the accuracy capability, precision in use, and the way the guns are set up and handled is absolutely spot on. There is no marketing fantasy going on here. They have delivered exactly what they said. And for me to say that is very unusual. I was thoroughly impressed. If you think the 455 got good when they made it into the 457 rimfire, well, the 557 centerfire has become the 600 centerfire now. And all five variants, all very different, but all superbly made, well built and very good. So check it out. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. Bye for now. Pay attention. <laughs>
The difference between this and the 600 is that here, the button there, which was the safety catch, is now the, um, the stock folding adjustment. Just while we're there, that looks like it'll fit onto the other side. See, it's, uh, it's either left or right hand, and you can move that, which is sort of like the, the cheat rest there. But yeah, just going back to this, where the safety catch was before, we've now got a side-mounted safety on here. So that locks the bolt as well, and then there for fire. And that looks like the magazine release at the front. So let's have a go with it. We've also got the side magazine release there. Yep. Right, this is the CZ600, this is the Lux version now, so we've got the um, Hogsback Walnut stock on it. I'm just going to have three shots on the steel gong. Same system, probably familiar with it now, we've got the safety catch, sorry, the uh, mag release underneath which is lockable. Oh, I'm going to drop it on the bench. Just put three rounds in. I'm going to put this down on four mags and we're going to have some standing shots with it. Keep that blue plate out there. So, yeah, I basically should just uh, turn the camera on. Got a nice sort of fish scale uh, effect on the walnut for the checkering. It's a hog's back stop, which, well, it looks a little bit old fashioned with the sort of Monte Carlo on this side here. It's, uh, it's actually quite comfortable, even with a modern optic on it. And because it doesn't displace your jaw, nice sort of tapered fit. That's a, that's a 56 millimeter objective scope, so that's as high as you're going to be. I quite like that. That's quite a heavy barrel, short barrel as well, and it's got completely open foresight, so you can light it well if you're an open sight kind of person. You've got a huge sight radius on it, but again, it's a, I think in that scenario, quite point and shoot. Steel action, you can tell because it's got the uh, 700 scope mount layout, which is using a picture that's in a spur mount with 30 mil rings for the uh, for like a scope. It does handle nicely, actually. I'm just going to have one more shot. Who am I kidding? I'll make it two. Why not? Treat. Again, to show you can actually top load these mags while they're in the gun. So if you are in a hunting situation where you just want to, you know, just want to top one up without taking the mag, you're good to go. Good. and it's got a nice long length upon it so you could probably always trim that short if you needed it to perhaps just a tiny just a tiny bit long for me when i close the bolt it just pushes the gun slightly out of my shoulder but that's just a personal fit and like this thing right this is the new cz this is the range and we've just come out to use them there are various formats. You can have aluminium steel actions. The aluminium action has a weaver rail at the rear. The steel action doesn't. Three action lengths. There's a various cartridge range from 223. Being 300 wind mag, there might be 9.362. Bolt release is on the side here. And it's it. Oh, I can't get that out because cheek piece is up. So if I pop that up and just drop that cheek piece down. This is the range model with the adjustable cheek. The bolt will come out 
Obviously, I'm trying to do this while holding the gun, not so There we go. So, we've got a six, six lug bolt, 60 degree lift, and it's got a very interesting sort of combined feed, sort of... Um, it's quite a hard to explain, but where my thumbnail is there, there's a little pin comes out the end. And basically, it holds the cartridge into the uh, control, the semi-control feed bolt. Phase. It's similar to a safe race five, but I think it'll be slightly superior because the cartridge can't fall off the bolt face. The bolt is, um, you can take the bolt down. 60 degree bolt throw, short lift like that, you can probably see there. What else can we tell you about it? It's available with single or two stage trigger. The, the triggers have got four stage adjustment on them. So we can pop a little Allen key in here, just where the tip of my finger is. Uh, one and a half mil Allen key, I think you said, and that's got four stages. It'll, it's got a strong detented click to change the trigger weight. Drops as low as 600 grams. Plus one in the chamber, one plus one in the magnum, and it locks the front. So he said to put the back in first, the front in second, and the switch also locks completely, I think he said, didn't he? So that, we'll have to, we'll have to investigate it at a later date, but he did say there's some way to lock the magazine in. Ah, there you go, as simple as that. So we can lock the magazine in like that. Which is actually, you need to put your fingernail in there, don't you? Because if you push down, obviously it disengages the mag. Uh, right, two T25 torque screws there. Undo those, the whole action, barrel action pops out. You do need to just uh, move the safety catch through as well. But once you've done that, take the whole thing apart. Down the left side of the action, there are two or three screws, all T25 says to tension them at five newton meters because you've got balance changeability on it. You do need to take it apart, but it is a modular system. Okay, it's not quite as simple as a blast system, but it will do it. And of course, the valves are, the valves are guaranteed. I think he said 5,000 rounds in like a 308, two and a half thousand rounds in something hotter like one of the 6.5s. Uh, what else can we talk about? This is the range version, so it's a heavier gun laminate stock. It's cold hammer forged, but it's floating. Quite stiff, so you don't have any problems with barrel contact. Stipple grip on the it there, and uh, thumb round or thumb up. Back end, got a small piece of rail underneath for accessories. They're going to do uh, extenders for length of pull. There's some QR sling studs as well. This, if I show you again, will adjust without tools. It doesn't have any lateral adjustment on it, but then you know, that's not too unusual. I'll just pop that back in there. It's quite a slim shape though, so. It does fit in under your cheekbone without displacing your jaw too much. And the final thing really is probably just a safety catch. So the safety catch is slightly unusual in the fact that's in the safe mode there. So my fingers underneath push the safety catch up. That also locks the bolt. Click it down. Bolt's now unlocked. It's quite simple. You do need to leave that when you take the barrel action out of the stock when you do the Come threaded. There are various different barrel options, various different stock options. So this is a range model. There's a what were the other models called? Of? Ergo. Ergo. Lux. Alpha. Alpha. Um, Trail. Trail. Yeah. There's five. There's yeah. also a variant, and that one. A timber. This is this is the, there are five in total. Anyway, this is what you call live reviewing in the field. So there we go. Um, you can see there's massive ventilation slots on that for the barrel, and there's plenty of sling studs for bipods and things. You've got twin QRs at the front on either side. There's a lot to talk about there. Um, this one is the steel action. The other one is an aluminium action. Uh, the steel action has Remington 700 compatible screw holes here. rail or other separate mounts on. Uh, final interesting point is, it's the details that appeal to me. Look here on the sort of bag rider butthook, say the main version, this one you can actually get a proper handhold on that. It's not like a tapered one that slides underneath. This one you can grip into there. And there's also satisfactory room here so that with your hand there, as the gun recoils, you won't bash your hand on the back of the pistol grip. Some stocks are like that, I won't names, but you know, look at the shape and it will pretty much tell its own tale. So I think that's about it. We'll have a look at some of the other rifles later.